Are you looking to break into the acting business? Looking for a great resource that will help you along the way? Stay tuned. So yes, I recently read this book, The Map, by actor Steph Tovar, and I'd like to share with you the three reasons why it was especially helpful to me and why I think it will be a great resource for other actors like myself looking to break into film and television. But before we go on, if you're an actor looking to share these kinds of tips on how to advance your career, possibly collaborate with a fellow actor such as myself on the weekly live stream performances that I do on this channel, or if you're just looking to connect with someone as we go on this journey together, please don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for my future posts. While there are so many books out there with great advice for actors, the first reason why I'm recommending this one in particular is because of its focus on film. Now, you may be new to acting completely, or you may, like me, be someone who has lots and lots of experience on stage, but film acting is something that you're relatively new at. Either way, it's helpful to have a resource that is specifically focused on that, which explores how film acting can be an entirely different art form and focuses on the unique aspects of the film business and the film audition process in the way that Mr. Tovar does throughout his book. Secondly, there is his focus on the self-tape audition process. Again, there are plenty of good books on acting, and even many over the years, that have even had that focus on film. But there is no denying that we are on a path that's been further sped up by COVID of moving on to an audition process that is almost exclusively dependent on self-tapes. And many of the greatest resources from the past, from before the days of the smartphone, just aren't able to give us any advice on how to approach them specifically. Mr. Tovar's book does, and he provides lots of advice, including photos showing you the proper self-tape setup and audition process. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, this book is valuable to beginning actors because its advice for how to audition for and perform a role is focused on the kinds of roles that an actor at our level is likely to be up for. You know, for 30 years, one of the best books that's focused on film acting specifically has been Michael Caine's Acting in Film, and it is a great resource. But as much as he has to offer when it comes to his extensive experience, there's no getting around the fact that that experience is that of a guy who is a huge star. And he can share his experiences in approaching the kind of roles that are offered to a huge star. Mr. Tovar, on the other hand, who as a working actor has made a career out of landing day player roles, he knows what it's like to make a living as an actor by regularly booking such roles, and he devotes large portions of his book to explaining the nature of such roles, and for his example of an audition script, he even chooses the role of a desk clerk in a hotel. Because, let's face it, that's just the kind of role that people like you and I are going to be going up for if we want to break into the business. We're not going to be auditioning to play Alfie. If we were, then it's because we're already a big star, and if we were, well, then we wouldn't need anybody's book to help us out. And let's be honest about something else. When we're reading for roles like the desk clerk instead of for the star, it's hard to make strong choices that are going to help us to be remembered and to stand out amongst the crowd of all the other actors who are up for the same role. But in spite of that, Mr. Tovar really breaks down these mundane sides for a boring desk clerk role and shows how you can give the character a motivation, how to find the beats in that one little scene, and to really find what we need to make those strong choices. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any other of your favorite resources that you'd like to recommend, please do so in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more acting and theater-related content. See you next time.